Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to show you how to do part two of the train scene uh, tutorial um, of the train scene I done uh, last week. Okay, now what I'm going to start off with is Affinity Designer and do um, a new document. Right, I'm going to start an A4 landscape orientation with uh, Create that. So once we created that, you should come up with a, a grid view, which I've, I've clicked on. You, you get a view. It says show grid, but that makes it easier, so you can uh, measure up with things, right? So always have that on if you can, if you're doing a design, right? So we do. I'm doing a rectangle shape tool to do uh, the sky. So that's uh, light blue like that then I'm going to add a bit of clouding if I can let's get that up a bit because that's too low right so I'm, I'm just going to use the brush tool in a minute but I need to uh, add some white to it hang on let's get the uh, brush hang on I'm just checking I need that on white that on white as well now I wanted to change the that go that up a bit there you go let's do it just trying to do a bit of a cloudy shape uh -huh. there you get some uh -huh. Maybe right oh yeah, maybe. Uh -uh. That'll do. That looks reasonable, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to get some buildings which is there and I want to try and use this one first which is the now new house for garage and I'll put that in there like so these are designs I've done before but they're available to you on the group anyway so just copy them and paste them again get another one of them in like that and paste again and we do a bit of a gap between them two and paste again that's it right so we've got something in there we're going to have something here maybe a couple of things there um, that looks reasonable and uh, I'm just going to see what we can put in between them right um, put this big red house yeah if I can get that in let's have a look yeah that looks about right there maybe the stretching up a bit slightly bigger than the other house I suppose like that yeah that'll do and uh, I'm going to try and get someone else in the side here so let's have a look see what we've got over oh, the pub we want a public house at the end makes sense wouldn't it put the public house there 
we need to stretch it up a bit because it needs the doors to be about the same size as the doors everywhere else because that makes sense I'll either put it there or next to it move it over there like that right to the end and then um, whatever to move them I'll move them over a bit like that right by there because I want to put something right next to the the red house um, let's have a look see what I can put in there because the red house could be a Arabic shop no I don't want that barber shop actually that barber shop would be good in between wouldn't it uh, just thinking let's have a look at the barber shop see if I can get that in I don't think I can get that in might be able to get that in if I don't know it was tight just need to move them over a little bit uh uh I'll put that right at the end put that over a little bit more put that over a little bit more like that get that barber shop in if I can uh, need to go up a little bit let's crunch it in a little touch and then bring it up a bit more like that in there across that way a little bit hang on just do a bit of adjustments just to uh, make it more reasonable there we go that's all right any looks roughly about right just probably slightly larger that's it right now that look don't look too bad in fact it needs to go down a little touch actually there you go. And how do these actually? Oops, that's too far. There you go. Then we're down enough that I need to come down a little touch. And that. See, so I want the clouds to be behind them in case, so it looks more realistic. Yeah, on both the roof area and I want the doors to be more or less the same size give or take I mean you're going to have a big door on the big red house anyway because that's like um, the rich man's house but he ain't got a garage for some reason perhaps he's got a study in there or something you know right that's ok so far so we've got that bit right now I need to put another part here which is going to be the pathway down from the house and the the uh, pavement for ordinary pedestrians as well so I need to do that and I might do that in a, like a light brown colour like that right so you can have the grass on some of this part and a bit of grey for where the car, car goes onto the uh, onto the road uh, which will be further down here right so we're going to do that we're going to do the road surface next so that's going to be a bit like that just uh, take it up a little bit and change the colour slightly as well one different colour on the road don't we it's like a dark grey colour so we're going to do that there's a dark grey colour ish right and we're going to have another one of these over this side so I'll copy that paste that and bring it down here and stretch that to the end probably just for a moment I mean it doesn't matter about that really because we probably won't even see that right now I'm just going to roll down a bit scroll down a bit and then I'm just going to do little lines here and then we're going to be white because then they're going to be the lines for the the road lines which I'm going to put on in a minute and I want to put them this side of this line here now from there actually like that I'm going to copy paste 
and go about three line three squares across from there and do the same again paste the three lines across and that's it that should be enough for them that looks reasonably um, steady anyway right so we've got that that's how it's looking so far that's looking pretty reasonable um, now I need to add people and I need to add the grass so I'm going to put the grass on here so I just need a little square like that bring that in a bit and down a bit like that right change that to green copy oops hang on now I need to do that in a bit copy paste and I'm going to bring that across whoops I haven't told what she did it there that's what I meant to do paste there we are again and one more time paste right like that so them we've all got the grass in front of them we got um we have grass in front of that one as well so I'll just do that one paste one more time you know grass there right and we're going to now grass there and now grass there right that's fine so what I need now is to do the same copy that I'm going to paste that again but this time I'm going to change it to a lighter grey there oh that don't look very really good I need to darken it slightly then put that one there that's fine copy that paste that and do that again and paste again over there paste there and I'm going to move that down a little bit there right paste again I want to stretch that one right out on this this one here because that's going to just come straight across there and it's going straight across that way because well, he's using it as a car parking area as well and I think I'll do the same with this one stretch that across there like that yep right so now I've done that I'm just going to pull this up a minute because I'm going to make it easier for me to uh, do my little fencing right so I'm going to do uh, wooden fences so I just need a rectangular shape I'll do them dark brown like that right now I need a triangle to go on the top so I'll get a triangle do that uh -uh. and now what I need to do is I'm going to go into view mode zoom to 800 go right down the bottom try and find the triangle there's a triangle and I'm going to try and fit you to that by popping it on there like that so at the moment it's an arrow it won't be in a minute I'm just going to bring that in like that bring that in like that so it looks a bit more reasonable Again, and then bring that down a little touch right so that's your picket fence part going to be there a little bit more so now we're going to copy the um, whole of this so first of all I've, I've selected it now I'm going to put it as group group it right so now we're going to copy paste and move it to one side uh -uh. 
we we'll more or less get it in the same level do the same again paste and do the same again paste do it about five times now would make sense right, let's do one more paste Uh -uh. Now what we do is try and get these all to be level. So go on there, align horizontally, align vertically, align the bottom. Oops, that didn't work out, right, did it? That's a bit silly, isn't it? And so align in the middle. No, that ain't working, is it? That's a bit weird. Okay, leave it like that. That's fine. <laughs> I ain't gonna bother with that. It didn't even seem to work, did it? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll just add some um, horizontal parts. There's one. I'm going to just make sure I've got it long enough for our, what's it, uh, two. Yeah, that's it. And then the same with a bit lower, so I'll copy, paste, and then take one down in a minute when I get the right thing on. There, that's fine. Right, so that's a fence. Right, there we go. So select that as a whole piece. And I group that. Right, now I'm going to go back to the view mode and zoom back to actual size. There you go, and there's your little fence. Right, so I need to do then is take that over there. Oh, actually, I forgot something. You need to arrange that, move to front first. That way it'll be in front of everything, right? We can adjust the size on that when we get it up there anyway, so that ain't a problem anyway. So we go up there, adjust the size down and across a bit. And then you got a fence there, like that. And then copy, paste, bring another fence there. I mean, you could have them all different colours or something, or have a few different colours or something, but it doesn't really matter as long as it shows the effect. You know, so... I'm not, I'm not worried, really. We could have ones that are bigger and smaller, you know. So, I mean, this one, I could stretch that one out a bit. Like that, so you could tell it was like a bigger fence, you know. And, uh, and what we'll do is just cover that up like that. And uh, we just paste again over here, and it's looking more like it now. Paste. That's pretty good, isn't it? It's looking reasonably good. Now all you need is a little line going up each one of these to um, sort of edge them off, any really. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next is just do a little line there going that way probably about that long it's the right colour anyway because it was the last one I've done so we do that like that and then that bit of the way up actually like that so ok copy paste yeah, right now we take one more down there and over there. Right. And paste again. It just gives you the impression of a bit of a division between the houses. Paste. And buildings I suppose, yeah. Obviously you can't do everything but you can make it look reasonably good like that. Oops, I've done something wrong there, hang on. It's a trouble say so you gotta what you can click in on sometimes. I've got to find the other one. Uh, hang on, I ain't doing it. Right, so I need to just do 
paste and draw again somewhere else right there right and just do one more there paste I need to adjust this where they are actually so that one's all right near enough anyway it ain't far away yeah it's dead on now and that one I think them are all right they don't look too bad but, uh, I'll just bring them down from there actually because I don't like the look of them but now nah, they'll be all right that's fine they look fine to me right the cordoned off that's the thing right now what we're going to do now is add some people on using the characters so oops we go on to characters and what happened then right so we get this little girl put her on somewhere by oh, here so I put her in in the garden make sure it's behind the fence so keep the fence and put arrange it front move to okay that's not going to work move back one and then try arrange again and move forward to front I see another girl should be behind the fence playing there yeah right okay in fact I'll do it down a little bit more I see right now we've got um, more characters we want don't we let's get some let's get some old lady folk I'll try and find some old lady oh. yeah let's get this old lady here uh, come out of uh, coming out of there or actually going on the actual path itself right let's make her a little bit bigger than the girl actually yeah what like that now we want some pictures of people in the actual houses so what I'm going to do now is get a couple of characters right there's a lady who should be inside a house doing some cleaning and I'll put her let's go put it down a bit Right, so we could have her in the actual pub actually couldn't we might be a good idea because it looks more like a professional cleaner and we're in the back of there so we do that and then do arrange move to front there you go she's in the pub now cleaning in the pub right That's, that makes sense doesn't it yeah so cleaning the pub in the morning so I'll do that I could turn her put her out to the other side or something or put her beyond the the um, doors but you can't see so well in there but there you go she's there right she's doing some work there now we got um, let's have a look see if we can get something else right we've got other characters we need some more characters really but there you go um, let's try pregnant woman let's put her in house over here upstairs maybe so we're going to do that there like that and go There you go, she's in there now. Right, so that's the pregnant woman. Obviously resting because she's pregnant, I suppose. You know. Not that I necessarily need it, but it's good to be safe and sorry in it, I suppose. There you go, you can see somebody in there anyway, that's the main thing. I'm just gonna adjust her a little bit. One or two big but I don't want it too small either. 
there you go you can see her there right so we might need a few um, cars or vehicles or something right so I want to get somewhere on the 40 feet car park here the front might be a good idea and I might need something on the road side so let me we showed you how to do all that I might need another person in one of these other houses first though so I'll do that as well oh, so, uh, I could do that lady in the garden as well doing the gar digging the garden I'll do the lady digging the garden over here no that's the wrong one I need to go over there somewhere to dig in that garden at the front go at the front and I move forward now move that to front that's the trouble you've got to move everything to front that's the trouble right, so I want the fence that's in front of her let's see where that is if I can find it I don't want that so I'll click off that ok right so what I'm going to do is move back one it's a problem you sometimes you can't always get it in the right place move back again no it's not going to go easy well it's just going to be beneath them I'm going to drag it that way and do it that way she'll be on now no she's still not move behind there somewhere oh I've lost her now. Uh, let's undo that a sec. Undo move. There you go. That's it. That's where I wanted her. Do some gardening in there. That's it. Right. Back. Yeah, I'll do. Right. And now I want somebody in there. In the bottom. Uh, maybe a man because I've got a load of women now men I've noticed that <laughs> right so let's get a man on um, there's Indian man in there um In, in the inside that house yeah that'd be a good idea so we go there boom arrange move to front and there you go it's inside the house there okay so that's all that there's only that one house there that hasn't got anything in Romando's ain't open yet apparently mind you that woman could have been coming out of there so that's fine hairdressers so he might be doing women's as well as men's hair um, anything else do we need any other characters oh it's oriental gentlemen we'll put him in put him in there in the windows and out uh, range Move to front like that. I'm moving the. What's it? There you go. He's inside there now. Right. Now let's get some vehicles on. So what we do is go into the vehicles. And all sorts of different vehicles in here that I've put on. Um, let's use a pickup. Call it pickup. Put that on. Here, like this, on the side of the road. Here. Looks quite big, doesn't it? That's how I've got to take that down a bit. It's too big for that. Right, we need a couple more cars here and there. Maybe. I don't want that. Um, maybe a double decker bus coming about or something. I'm just thinking, I'm going to want. That blow car, yeah, oh, that blow car on 
this one here. That's it there. That makes sense, doesn't it? And then I'll get another car in another place. I get yellow, red, or I get a green one because I don't see very many green cars, do we? I'll do that one over there and that can go over this way a little bit right and let's have a look see what we got then now I can take the click all that and I might move the road because the road seems to be too big now so hang on I need to the click um, control key I want to hold and click on the white the white lines as well so I can push them in a bit like that that's it right that's better now I can move that up Right, it doesn't matter because I, I'm only going to use use a bit of it and I'm going to change the size of it and everything anyway so don't worry about that um, right now let's put a vehicle on the car park of the 40 thieves shall we so we'll do that yes let's put shall we put the mini or shall we do could do a taxi actually, a taxi could go on there couldn't it? I'll put a taxi on there or shall we put the yellow taxi, oh no I haven't, haven't coloured that one in yet I'll put a yellow taxi, I'll put the black taxi on there oh it's not at the front so I need to put that at the front range move to front, there you go there's a taxi so the taxi's gone there which makes sense right, now that is basically um, one of the pictures done ready for what you seen, um, for it but that's the kind of scenery you want in it right so what I need to do now is say, uh, um, select all that right and uh, I'm going to trim the edges off by doing that which is crop tool I'm just going to trim that edge there in and everything else should be more or less right to time far away anyway uh -uh. trim all the edges in best I can but that's the one part there right so now I've done that that's not too bad so I can do select it all like that and I'm going to save that as is right for the moment I'm going to save that oil export as selection with that background and export that to desktop I'm going to use desktop right to desktop and save it as scene scene A right so that's I'm saving that as scene A eh? so I'm going to do file save as road I'm going to call it a proper name on here road scene two point two because it's my second scene that I've done over a different uh, set of roads so I've got rid of that so I know what I'm doing so I'm going to save that on my drive as well you need to do all this you need to save everything you anything you possibly save a blueprint as well so you can do it and I do I always do a backup as well just in case one of my drives goes because they, they, they do go you know even if you don't want them to they do uh, just give me a few minutes while I do this. 
So it seems to take a while because it's a higher, higher capacity drive, so it takes a while to get sorted first. So it's not responding, and it'll respond in a minute. Right, there we go, it's on, and I've rinsed that one. Open, save. Right, so that's saved. So I can alter it if I need to later. Right, now what I need to do is change it around now and I could remove half of the stuff on this or I could just do a switch around like ah oh hang on select it all and go like ah then you got more what is that and I could change that for a different uh, thing here just take a few people out in there right change the people that are in it only obviously I can't I've got to change that round again turn that back round right, so I could do that and leave that one there or I could just remove them all right, so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to remove all the main houses and the people on so I'll just remove that um, edit delete that one delete that Anything that's the same, I've got to delete, obviously. Oops, what have I done now? Delete off the picture, don't worry about it. I'm going to save it as a different picture. So, delete. I didn't do this last time, I just created a whole separate one, but it's too much work all the while so it saves your time by doing this anyway I mean it's a little bit of extra work but not as much as doing the whole thing you do the whole thing it's, it's, it's madder if you do it several times I'll just get the hair off there the lady off there sorry and do that right delete that right um, right so that's that I might just put another building in there there's a not normal building and just delete that one off first delete that remove the characters of course obviously delete that character get that character over there if I can where is he there's that one I'm going to delete that character Delete. You can do it from this side, which make might probably make it easier to be honest. You do that, delete that character. Right, so we've got these ones there. I don't need another one of them, so I'll just get rid of that one. Um everyone, yeah, delete it that way. Right, so now what we can do is we can add a few more of these. So copy that and paste that one. Oops, I ain't pasted it. Oh no, I'm getting worse. I am. Paste. Now move. That's it. Like that. Now he ain't got an no offence in because uh, he's got it completely. What's it like that? Now um, we had another one of them there. So paste again. Like that, and then put that one over there. Right, now we just add someone in the middle. Um, I don't know what we're going to add yet. Let's just move this if I can get that. That's going to be a pain in the bum, isn't it? You're going to have to ungroup that there. And move that across. Right. right, and now we're going to try and fit something in there. Right. So we need to go back on buildings. 
a big shop. Should we put an Arabic shop in there? I wonder if we put an Arabic shop would be a good idea. No, it's a bit too. What's it? Eh? It wouldn't fit with the rest of the thingy. So, uh, not a fish bar. We'll put, try putting that cottage. You get the big cottage in. We we'll get the cottage in. I don't think we will, will we? Whoops. I don't know what happened there, but mind, I'll just take that off. Under transition. Put that down there. That well, don't look very good, does it? I don't like the look of that actually. I'm gonna edit that and delete that actually. I don't like it. Might be better for a different scene, but it ain't no good for this scene. Right, so we'll go and get something else instead. What about the new house like that? That no one might be better. Which is different from the others, isn't it? Right, so yeah, that would probably be better. There we go, that's better. Oh, can't stretch it too much, so it's got a bit of a backyard then. That's it. He hasn't got a garage, but he's got more space at the front here to park, so. There you go, how's that? Hmm. Right, now what we need to do now is just to add our characters to this one and uh, any other stuff that we want to add like um, vehicles etc. So just to uh, get some characters on. I mean it doesn't matter what they look like you know as long as they're... I'm gonna put her up. Oops. Let's go up a bit. There you go. Now I can. Uh, I've got to change air a bit so I can't see her in there very well. I'm just remove, put that at the back for a minute. Move to back a sec. Oh, now I've done that. I'm going to do this. Put her up there a bit better. Right now, get the house back. Where's the house? Oh, that is the house, right. Put to front. There you go, that's better. You can see her inside there, right. And next one, I'm going to do a little boy there. He can be on the sidewalk here, or pavement, as we in England call it. Arrange it front, move to front, make sure it's at the front. Right, now we have an, um, a person walking up with a zimmer frame or something, or a girl with a bad leg or something. Oh yeah, we've got this girl with a bad leg here, we'll do her coming across this way. Put her at the front again. Range, move to front. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And let's have a look, see what else we've got. Um, But the an old woman, we want an old woman walking from the other side. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Put her at the front as well. Just so we don't uh ah, see, that's better. Right. There we got some more characters we want in the Buildings, don't we? Um, let's have a look. Let's put her in a building like that. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's pretty good there. Let's see her there, right? 
Now we want somebody up in a high one up here somewhere. So we'll do that. We'll get somebody, it doesn't matter who. Just to that one. Put her up there like that. Oops, I think, I think I've done her a bit big, but I mind. We just uh, arrange that move to back for a moment. Get the girl. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get that girl on. And I'm going to cut. The, oh, I want to try and move her, but it ain't letting me, so I'll cut her off a minute and I find the one that's gone back to the back and restore that one back to the front and move to front there we go okay so that's that now what we're going to do is we'll put that girl back on in a sec and we're going to do it by going back into this way and doing it this way and what I'll do is before I put her on I'm going to put her down here and do it try and get a small lot huh? and then do it that way and put that one up there like that hopefully that'll be small enough yep that's okay that's fine you can see there's people in there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same with the uh, cars and that now I'm going to put them on so it's not that odd really it's just time consuming and can be a bit of a pan in the bum in some places where you get sort of a bit of problems with stuff um, let's get the mini here somewhere put that mini on there that's pretty good on there so I'll put that there like that right so I've got a mini um, then we're going to do a car here um, let's do should we do that one on here He's not giving me much choice now. Put it there. Like, oops. Move the wrong thing now. Oh, thank you. That's allowed me to do that now. So, there you go. That's an American car. That's a um, <laughs> Mini. So, we've got two nice cars there. Um, I ain't going to put a spaceship on, I don't think. Um, let's try... Should we put a buzz on? I'll put a buzz on up there. Shall we put the buzz on? Put the buzz on here, like this. Whoa! Needs to be at the front. There we go. Get the buzz driver on it, shall we? You can see all the things behind it, so it's a good thing about the buzz. If I block that off like I can see the bus there. We just need a person in the bus, don't we? So what I'm going to do is to get a person in the bus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a character. One that looks like he's a bus driver. Um, so we'll go to the characters again. There's the characters. Uh, let's see what we've got. We want one side facing. Yeah. That's the one I, I used, I've used him before for as a bus driver because he looks like a bus driver. What I need to do now is just cut off half of that picture of him. So it's like that. Or you can see, see that bit. Right, so I'll do that. Put him in there like that. And put the bus at the front. Like that. And there he is in the bus. Might be a bit big, I think. Let's have a look. Let's go. Let's find the character. There he is. Let's get him down a little touch. Ah, uh -uh. there you go. That's better, isn't it? Or is it? It might be a bit too small. Now, let's just bring him up a little touch. There, that's it. That's fine. Yeah. Also, right, there's a character in the bus um, you've got cars there should we have a car coming the other direction I don't know um, we could do I suppose yeah 
vehicle of some kind in the going in the other direction, maybe. Um let's go on to the vehicles first. Might be might help. Let's try try the dump truck coming the other direction, maybe. Let's do that. So you can see it's the wrong way around, but just swing that around, that's not a problem. Now we need like that down there. Right, I just need a person in it. So I will do that again. Um, vehicles, we're going to go to characters instead again. So we need, shall we try to put a woman in it, in the dump truck? Be a bit radical, wouldn't it? Yeah, might be useful though. Uh, have we got anybody's side facing? Let's try her in there. We'll put there in. That's it, we'll put that lady in. Side facing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut her off. All the parts that I don't need. Just leave that, turn that round. Like that. Do that. And then put her in there. And then just put that front. Yeah, move to front like that. And then she's in. You can barely see her, but she's in there all right. Well, there you go. Okay. Right, so, you know, it, it all depends on how how much you want to do yourself, really, as to whether you want to... Um, embellish it more or less you know and you could add the sun maybe in the place like that where it wasn't showing before like on the other piece now I've got something oops edit undo that I made a mistake there and when you make mistakes like that you, you can easily edit them like that or something and the sun goes a little bit smaller than that I think in the background like that right so there you go that's how you do it and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to select all of that and export it as selection without background again and export to scene B change it to CB right so right so once I've done that, and saved both scenes, there was both the same size, wasn't they? Right? More or less, anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do is also save as on H, what was it? Um, road scene 2.2, 2.3, it's going to be for this one. 2.3. Right. So we'll do that, and I need to do that save again on the other drive. I always do double saves, harder, just in case, because if one goes, you still got it on another then, and you can get a new drive to uh, fix the situation if you've got a problem, right? And that's that, right? Now what we do is come out of it, once we've saved it. Actually, I don't know there's a save bit. Oh, yeah. I just did that. Right now we need to go back into Affinity Designer. You'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. I'm going to start off a new document again. Also A4 Landscape Create. Then I'm going to import Scene 1, which is in Desktop. Scene A, I should say. And I'm going to do it so it's the size to fit roughly there like that that should be the size for doodly that's 6 7 point 7 point 1 by 4 1 2 3 4 yeah so if I move that over like that now we're going to get scene B and I'm going to do the same with that, put that down there. I'm going to put it together in a minute, but not just yet. Where are we just going to do? Make sure it's the same size, see? 
you make sure it's the same size it's going to be alright then 7 1 by 4 down right now I'm going to put that up there by the, next to that one hopefully they should be, match up then more or less and that's your whole scene then hopefully yeah there you go looks like a whole scene now what we need to do is select it all and export it as section without background and export it as new scene I'll do new scene now that's ready for uh, part 3 of my tutorial which will be uh, doing the um, panning across this actual scene and putting it together with the other scene ok thank you very much for that I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so far and have a good day and please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to Tony's Music thank you, bye